Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Salt. Sunshine. And together we are Salt and Sunshine FL. This morning we're putting in at Lashley. As you can see, Lashley's right back there. Uh, gonna come out here, gonna bump some docks. Uh, weather's supposed to be pretty good today for a change. Um, second day this week that we've been able to get on the water. So uh, Lashley didn't have any live shrimp this morning, which is kind of depressing for us, but uh, they had some, uh, some pretty big pinfish and uh, they had some frozen shrimp. So we're gonna try some pinfish around some docks and uh, some frozen shrimp and stuff, see if we can get on something like uh, maybe a snook or a red with those pins. And then uh, got the shrimp for the sheep's head and the, uh, the mangrove snappers. So uh, we're gonna go out here and, and start bumping some docks. We did some uh, scouting the other day when we were out here and found some docks that possibly might be holding some bigger sheeps and uh, snappers. By the time we found them the other day, we were out of bait. So we were gonna get six dozen shrimp this morning, but like I said, they didn't have any. So, you know, whatever, we'll make it work. Stay tuned. So first spot of the day, we're going to hit this little mangrove patch right off that bridge there. The tide's coming in, so we're going to target some snook this morning. Got my little pinfish down there swimming away. I'm going to throw him out there. See if we can get up on something right there. So my tackle today, I'm using my uh, Fenwick, my Fenwick Eagle Rod paired with my 2000 series Abu Garcia. I got the Beyond Braid Camo Blue 20 pound test, and I got 20 pound fluorocarbon, a six foot leader going down to number one hook, just a J hook, no weight on it. I want that pinfish to swim around some. So, snooker ambush predators. So, with that current coming in, I want to throw up and have the fish come back this way so it's natural looking. So if there's a snook laying up around those mangroves waiting for waiting for his breakfast to swim by our little pinfish buddy just come swimming by and hopefully he'll jump out and grab them sunshine casted here on the back side this little mangrove patch i right, said so i hooked these pinfish oh it's just right up through the nose there right up through the top of the nose i make sure i get into his into his actual head and not just on his lips because they have soft lips and you'll tear them out when you go to cast them all right so those pinfish ain't nothing striking on them pinfish so we got some frozen shrimp out there see if we can get something on some frozen shrimp wish we had live shrimp but didn't happen today. Hey. hey, how you doing? Good. Get you any fish out there? Uh, not yet. Just started. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So sunshine's got some frozen shrimp on. We changed locations coming around the seawall here. We were here a couple months ago and something kept on stealing Sunshine's bait. So we'll see if we can get on maybe whatever that was likes to hang around over here. But she's got on frozen sleeping. shrimp. They're sleeping still, she says. We got on frozen shrimp here. I just took out my Pen Fierce 3, 3000 series. That's no, a 4000 series um, pen rod or a pen reel. Got it with 20 pound uh spider wire down to uh 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with a number two hook and i put some 
uh, ladyfish, some cut bait ladyfish out there on it. And then I got a live pinfish out there swimming around. So we got pinfish, we got cut bait ladyfish, and we got shrimp. Hopefully something will bite on something here. The mornings have been kind of slow though here lately as we've noticed. So maybe it'll pick up. It's, uh, it's 9.40 in the morning. We've been out here for about, what, an hour now? Yeah. Haven't got a single hit yet in an hour. So we're trying though. The sunshine got first bump of the day. She's got frozen shrimp on. The sun just came out like two minutes ago. As soon as the sun came out, she got a bump. <laughs> you still on there? No, he came off. <laughs> I'm over here retying my leader line. I had something jump on my pen. Wherever it was, he hit it and started running with it. I'll leave it down there a minute, see, see what he can, see if he's still on it. I think he's still on it. So that was the ladyfish. May have been a cat. I'll get this grass off of there. And throw it back out, see if he'll jump back on it again. The last time I that last tail cat I caught was here. The way it hit it though, it kind of made me think it was a black drum. Might have been. That'd be nice. Get a nice fat black drum. I'm gonna throw a piece of shrimp out on this one. Cause that pinfish ran me up into some rocks and had to break off. So I don't want to retie again. I'm just gonna throw some shrimp out there. Just let it float. All right, so we got our net tracks flip and dip out. We're gonna get this thing ready. So you just unsnap it right there, the little S clip right there. Just take that down, you flip it. Bam, it's ready to go. This thing is so nice. This is a really nice net, really nice net. You can check them out nettrex.com you can use our promo code sns10 get yourself 10 percent off they got a bunch of different designs bunch of different styles really cool um check out the video that we did of these did a review of them and uh talked about them a little bit but uh yeah check them out all right so it is uh 10 45 we haven't boated a fish yet had that <laughs> one bump and uh had a couple little nibbles but um yeah the morning has been slow but which, pretty yeah it is pretty uh which that's been the the par for the course here lately it's just you know slow morning bite so we're having to chase them this morning we're gonna go try a couple of other spots see if we can get up on something so stay tuned and so on our way out seen us couple snook popping up around that dock right there sunshine's got a pin fish on see if we can coax one of them snook up on that pin Ooh, oh what was that what was that I got just a Half a shrimp on, just free lining it.
Got him. Got him. Yeah, get that, get that flipping dip, baby. No, 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 get away from that troll motor. Nice snook. All right, so that's the first fish of the day. First fish of the day. Got him on the greenback, or on the uh, pinfish, sorry. Yep, get your shakes out you, buddy. Get your shakes out you. Nice, nice snook. Pretty, pretty snook there. See how big he is. Just for shits and giggles. 19 and a half. Pretty fish right there, boy. Pretty fish. First fish of the day. What time is it, babe? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. There he goes. Alrighty. Alright, so. First fish of the day on. Now it's Sunshine's turn. Baby. Huh. Now it's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Alright, let's yeah. see if we can get some more. Right, let's see if we can get another one on. I'm just free lining these pinfish out here. coming through here we seen there was some snook cruising so we decided to spin around on them all right guys so it's been about 20 minutes 20, what, 20, 30 minutes probably? For what? Since I caught that snook. 15 maybe. 15? Seems longer than that, you know. Oh well. Out here just trying. We threw out some uh, frozen pilchards that we had and uh, cut them up, threw them out a little bit, see if we can chum some of them up. We don't want to throw out any of our, any of our live uh, pinfish that we have. So we're throwing out some dead ones, cut them up, see if we can get something chummed up on them. Right, so we are stopping for lunch out here in this little this little cove area we have caught snook and trout out of here before so we're gonna stop here get some lunch it's been a very slow bite today just that one snook that's it so far see if we can turn things around this afternoon fingers crossed all right guys so this is our magma kettle grill we love this grill uh, every time we're on the boat, we always, um, you know, have to have lunch. Like, everybody's got to eat. So, uh, this is our go-to grill right here. This is the Magma Original Size Kettle Grill. And uh, I got in a fishing rod holder. And all it does, it just screws up right up to the bottom there. And this gas, little uh, gas grill, uh, propane tanks there. And uh, this thing here, we absolutely love it. It is dirty because we use it all the time. Like, we use it all the time. So, we are... Sorry, I'm setting up my line. We are affiliated with Magma. So... We're foodies at heart. We are foodies. And uh, we know you guys are too. So, here's the thing. If you guys love cooking outdoors, love cooking on the water, um, better than sandwiches. Like, who wants to eat a sandwich? <laughs> who wants to eat a sandwich on the water, babe? Do you... I want a filet. Yeah. Flamin' young. Yeah, filet mignon. We've cooked uh, countless trout on that grill. We have cooked um, bonnethead shark steaks on the grill, hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, chicken breasts, and everything that we've cooked on that grill has come out amazing. It cooks very evenly. It cooks very fast. And it's really convenient, too, because as you guys know, space on a boat, storage on a boat is, is very much key. And... Uh, to keep the size of this grill small, but also to produce the kind of food that it produces and the way that it produces it is just absolutely amazing. And we absolutely love it. So if you would check our link out in our bio, 
slide over there to magma use our special link in our description and also i'll put it on the video too and slide over there to magma get you some get you some uh some really great products you gotta toast the buns you have to toast the buns look at that you can't just have basic buns you gotta toast them look at that see that's how you gotta do it look at that cheese all nice and melted and bubbling Oh, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's how you do lunch right there on the boat. That is how you do lunch. We got some chips too. Didn't have any potato salad today or any um, macaroni salad, whatever. <clears throat> Can't be upset when you got that. Oh, pulled it out of his mouth. like a little snapper see if we found us some mangrove snappers there he goes he's got it he's got that one he's got that one Ooh, he's pulling pretty good there. Yeah, give me that flipping dip, baby. What we got? Black drum. Black drum. Yeah? Yeah. Ready, Where's your camera? Ready, guys? Yeah, flipping dip. Ooh, keeper. Keeper, keeper. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, I'm ready to flip you. He ain't, he ain't tired yet. Come on. Nope, he ain't done. I don't have, I don't have my drag locked down either because I'm only running 20 pound on there. Ain't don't want to pop it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Extend that handle out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Pretty black drum right there, guys. Pretty black drum. Oh. Oh, sorry, babe. You're fine. Oh. Ooh-wee. Look at that one, guys. He's pretty. He is pretty. There's Seppa. There is supper. Alrighty. What's the regulations on black drum? I think they're 18. I'll look it up. Oh. He is 19 and a half. Wasn't that what mine was? I think yours was like, yeah, 18, 19. Listen to them, y'all. It's all about is, how at night all the people that live on the canals can hear them. Yeah. That is a pretty, pretty fish. Got him on a half shrimp. 14 to 24. 14 to 24. He is going in the cooler. Oh. You got, got you a sheep's? A, I got me a fishy. You got you a sheep's? A little baby sheep's. Little sheep's. sheep's. All right, so... The uh, fish are biting. Oh, I foul hooked them too. The afternoon bite again. Morning, we got nothing. I got that one snook this morning. We broke for lunch. It is 141. We've been out here since what, like 8 30 this morning? So, yeah, pretty, pretty black drum. Bye, Bubba. Woo! Ow. Did he get you with his murder fins? No. little sheep head all right guys so that black drum just free lining the shrimp down there it was a shrimp tail just threw it off in there not using the weight just letting it naturally sink down he came up and grabbed it see if we can get some more
got one? Yeah, it's a snapper. I've got her a snapper. Little mangrove. Oh, he looks just shy of 10. That's the... probably about like nine, nine and a half maybe. Give it up. Give it up. Bloop. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, dang. There we go. There we go. Sheeps. Nice. Little sheep's head. There you go. Little sheep's head, guys pretty fishy see ya oh 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 come on come on nah, it's a small one sheepers no the sheepers Let me have it back, buddy. There you go. Little sheeps. There you go. That's cool when they're little like that, they have that purple on them. Yeah. And I got something on mine. Oh, got them. Sheepers. A little bit bigger sheep. Give me, give me a back, buddy. Give me a back. Come on. There we go. Pretty little sheeps. There you go. So there's a very deep drop off here. So right up there, that mangrove, the mangrove line, you know, of course that's that's land. And then we're sitting, what, maybe 15, 20 feet? We're sitting about 15, 20 feet off. And it is eight and a half to nine foot right here where the back of the uh, boat is. So that's a pretty dramatic drop off. So they're trying to hook it up. Keeper snapper. Keeper snapper. Maybe. Like a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Mangrove snappy snap. I was hoping that was the sheep's head. Hi, Bubba. Something splashing up there. Pretty. Pretty fish. You gonna be nice? Yeah, murder fins. He's in ten and a half. Okay. Yeah, he's ten and a half. Just drop it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, ten and a half. There you go. Keeper. I finally got a keeper. Keeper fish. Mang. Keeper Mang. Uh, we are gonna do a uh, catch clean cook. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna clean the fish up, and we're gonna cook it up for you. That black drum that we caught, which is my personal best black drum. So if you would subscribe, like, and drop a comment to us. Also, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok, y'all. So we'll see you back at the house. Hey everybody, all right, welcome back. So we are gonna clean the black drum and the uh, keeper mangrove snapper that we caught yesterday. So we got back really late last night because we were trying to get on some snook. What, babe? Oh, cinch. We were trying to get on some snook and uh, we had a couple of pinfish left over. So we were trying to just grab some of them for, you know, we headed off the water. So here are, that's the black drum right there. And then the mangrove snapper. So 
get to it, show you how to clean it. What we're going to do is we are going to um, do a blackened, grilled black drum for supper tonight. Gonna... Oh. Just kept them on ice overnight. There's the black drum. There's the mangrove. And there's the fish slime. Cinch is out here trying to put in his commentary. Yeah. Okay. So this is our boba. This is boba the black drum. There you go. <laughs> this is boba the black drum. So I'm just gonna give him a little rinse off there because he's got some slime on him. He's a little slippery. And these fish, these fish here are really good to eat um, when you get them in this size. Like this size here, this is 19 and a half inch. So when you get them in this size, they're really good. When you get the bigger ones, they can have worms in them. Um, I've heard of people eating them still with the worms. They just pick them out, cook them out, whatever. I'd, I'd have to be really hungry to eat a fish with some worms in it. That's all I'm saying. So this one here, same thing as the, uh, as the snapper pull up his fin and you can feel with your finger his head bone which is about right there so you want to just take your knife and just run it right along there now he's got some really thick scales on him so make sure your knife is good and sharp just come down in it at an angle All the way up there and look how big these look how big these scales are y'all a little bit smaller than dime size but it's the same principle take your knife come down in turn it sideways and just follow it right down I was shocked we didn't have like more black drum as far as I'm running in school. Yeah. Sanj, quit your whining, bro. I'm not trying to crowd you. Him right down through there right through his rib bones come on out and again I'm gonna leave the tail I'm gonna leave the tail section on Seems like it's a pretty stout bone right there there we go that fillet nice and flat against the table just work your knife back and forth all the way out that is a nice healthy fillet right there Cut that skin off. Flip it over. Look at these scales, y'all. Look how big that scale is. That's dime size there. You want to spray? Now let me just get the rest of this. There's fillet number two. Mm. Come on. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Good boy. Then we're gonna cut out the rib bone. So you see the rib bones are right there. These black drum have very predominant ribs.
See him right there? Mm -hmm. And cut that bloodline out so that we lose some of that real fishy taste. No, I'm almost done. There you go. There's one of them there. No bones in that one. This one's got a little bit of blood on it still. I'm going to cut some of that blood line out. go just duplicate the same on the next one <laughs> all right everybody so there's our black drum fillets cleaned up we just had them sitting in the fridge until uh you know got a little bit later for supper so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna have blackened grilled black drum it's a mouthful we also have Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> We also have some fresh zucchini. We're gonna throw that on the grill too. So let's get started. I gotta clean the zucchini off real quick. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna half it, cut the ends off of them. Just gonna cut them in half to throw them on the grill. Zucchini boats. Yeah, we should do zucchini boats one night. There we go. Let's get the grill heated up and then we'll get everything on. All right, so there you go. this grill here, there's Funny a story story. behind this grill. So um, we have a, uh, we, we have, I'm trying, you're, you're over there snacking. <laughs> All right, so we have an electric smoker. We have a, uh, stick burning smoker. We have <laughs> we have a charcoal grill. Um, we got a whole bunch of cast iron, but we have a flat. We have a blackstone. Um, we did not have a gas grill. Well, here come Hurricane Ian. Oh, right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of it. So when Hurricane Ian came, like I don't want to go out there and smoke like smoke meat. Like we needed a way to heat up water. We did it on the blackstone. Um, that just took too long. So. We went to Walmart and this was the last one on the shelf and I had to guard it with my life <laughs> whilst, while Sunshine weird went and got a cart so we could throw it into the buggy to get it. <laughs> I don't even remember how much it was. I honestly don't even care how much it was because it was nice to have a gas grill. Luckily we had some propane tanks because we had the Blackstone. So that was good because there was no propane anywhere. But brought this thing home, put it together and uh, been using it ever since. Love it. All right, so just throwing some blackening seasoning on here. Gonna be very liberal with it. Then we're just gonna throw some salt on it also. The grill's preheating. Threw a little bit of salt and pepper on the uh, zucchinis. Look at that, y'all. Oof. Put a little bit of salt on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them on the tray here. And then when I put them on the grill, I'm gonna put them season side down and then I'm gonna season the back side of them. So that way that I'm not flipping them over and the seasoning gets stuck all to the tray and everything else. <coughs> Tell one of your dad jokes. I, you can't put me on the spot like that. What was that one you said the other day? Oh. There's 30 cows. You gotta, no, yeah, you gotta. No, I don't wanna be in the camera. There's 30 cows. 30 cows. And 28 chickens. Okay. 
How many are left? Or no, excuse me, how many didn't? There's 30 cows and 28 chickens. How many didn't? I don't know how many. 10. There's 30 cows. Right. And 28 chicken. How many didn't? Two. No, I just told you it was 10. If there's 30 cows and 28 chicken. Chicken, 28. Like food. Oh, they said 28, like 28, not way. 20. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that other one you told? The different, what's the difference between a vitamin and a hormone? What? <laughs> you could hear a hormone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that we've. <laughs> All right. All right, so y'all know what I got to do. What I got to do, babe? Click them. I got to click them to check them. They work. These are our house tongs. Those are your tongs. I don't like those ones. Really? I don't That's like That's hurtful. Them. Uh -huh. I like them. As long as we're being honest. All right, so I'm going to throw the zucchini down. Sizzle, sizzle. Got our grill nice and hot. Oil nice and hot. I'm gonna throw these oh, yeah. black drum fillets down. It's a lot of fish. It is a lot of fish. It was a big drum. We need to get a freezer just for our fish. We need a little freezer. You know? Yeah. And I'm gonna throw some more blackening seasoning on the back side here. Alright, we let those go. What's the most detail oriented ocean? The specific ocean. It's the Pacific Ocean. Right, but specific. Oh, it's like chasing tigers. Did you know ostriches know. walk around forgetting where the, what they're doing and where they're going? Same. I've never felt more at home or in a line with something. <laughs> you can cut out all this jibber jabber. Oh, wakey walkie, wakey walkie. Woo hoo hoo. Well, yeah, it's already starting to come apart right there. That one's got your name written all over it. Ooh, that's hot. I'm trying to grab it. There we go. Ooh, look at that one. Mm -hmm. Little sample piece. It's an appetizer. Oh, yeah. I'll wait. I want to be surprised. I'll wait. Oh. Oh. That one's she done. done. Why is it a she? Are you sure that one's done too? Yeah, that one's done better. Is it going to melt that oh. platter? No. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, look at that. I want, some, that. I want some cozy. Yeah. I want to target that next time I go out. The waters are cool enough right now. Ooh wee, look at that, y'all. Mm. <laughs> All right, everybody, so there it is. We got our black drum that is blackened and grilled, our grilled zucchini, and Sunshine here made a deviled egg pasta salad. So we're going to give that a try with the fish.
So. Oh, hi. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thumbs up are appreciated. And uh, hope we see you out there on the water. Bye.